Okay. Yo. All right, cool. Uh, let me start my screen share here. You want to do the, uh, the DM call? Yeah, eh, it's whatever. It's all the same. It's on YouTube anyway. Okay. Um, screens go live. All right, cool. Uh, so kind of talk me through these games or like what you wanted to talk about or any particular questions or what's up i think uh, i think one of my struggles is still um if a magi like or just imagine watching magi streamers out if a falco uh is lasering me a bunch but they get close with the lasers mm -hmm. and then i'm kind of like not sure what to do in that situation like the two lasers that follow into the area when they're close to me or mm -hmm. so like sometimes it seems like I'm trying to mash out there, but then like maybe get caught by the next laser for Uh sorry, you, you, you cut your voice cut off for a little bit. I have a problem with though. Okay. I was saying like I'll try to mash out there, but then usually it seems like either the next laser come hits me first or their aerial absolutely hits me first. Okay. I also have a big problem with being cornered by Falco a lot. Okay. So it sounds like, okay, so based off of what you're saying, it sounds like you might not like recognize the ranges, either you're slowing your fare or you might not recognize the ranges where like laser aerial will actually get meta combo uh, if you're in the air. And also I think you should do, you might want to do more like grounded challenges to laser. So let, let's see. I think that situation is usually whenever I'm in the corner to Yeah, thing. that makes sense. Uh Falco is a lot more incentivized to like kind of like laser near at you whenever you're in the corner because a lot of times like if Marth does like a near in place or if he does like take laser fair, then it will like it might trade. And that's actually most trades aren't great for Falco, but you know, if it's gonna put you off stage then that's a more acceptable trade for Falco, right? Yeah, and uh, compared to playing other characters, I did play one of the other characters for a while to try them out. Um, it's with Falco, I have a especially hard time recovering against Falco. Uh, you mean, like, oh, recovering against Falco? Or... Yeah, yeah, Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I know last time we talked a little bit about, like, the high up bees, so we'll see if that's changed. Okay. So right away on this one, you went for a double jump fair, and then, what the fuck? Uh, and you went for double jump, and then uh, you got hit out of it. New Year's really close. Okay. Yeah, okay. I wasn't trying to finish that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I should have just like S smash early right there, probably. You could have gone for a down air. Uh, I think the re grab is fine. Up tilt here. You can go for a down air here, or you just turn around and prepare to cover side B. Probably is honestly the most basic thing. The other thing that you could do is you could just forward throw, like right, like right here. You could just forward throw. Just do like a little four throw down tilt action here. That's like pretty good. You should be willing to pitch Falco off the stage a lot, in my opinion. Okay, that's good in there. Ooh, okay. So this is the long dash back that we talked about. So you see how... So there, and then he just follows with that. If you didn't dash back in, then you would... Uh, then you would get then you would get to punish them for doing this down air. Yep. So, so it looks like you just wave dashed away, is that right? Uh, yeah. yeah, you just wave dash and then turn, turn around dash back in. Do you like, like wave dash dash and then you'll get there. I guess my problem is like I, I want to call out a uh, like laser sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I guess I'm like in my head I'm assuming like oh I gotta do 50 50 when they laser in place when they're at me. But I should just dash back and like laser again, just play it from there. 
Yeah, you should cover, like, not the laser more often. You should cover the move more often because the risk-reward is better. Like, if they laser you there, then they don't really get that much. But, you know, if they down-air you successfully, then they get a lot. Whereas, like, if you're right about the down-air, then you might potentially murder them really hard. But uh, if uh, you... And it's like, obviously, you if you get them either way, then you get a lot of reward. But uh, the downside for getting hit by laser, it's much less than the downside for getting hit by down air. Yeah. So you should probably cover the down air more, and covering the down air also lets you cover roll in. Right. So, so that's why I would say you should cover this inwards down air more. Um, also, the situation is kind of like, he like double jump down airs here, and I feel like He's, like, right on top of you, so I feel like he's not that likely to, uh, to laser here. Like, even if you're, if you're Fox here, you know, you're just like, oh, I just, sweet, I just hit someone's shield, right? I'm gonna do some pressure. So it feels more likely that he's going to do, for that reason, that he would want to do aerials rather than do a laser. Right. Oh, coming down the ground there. Okay, you're doing a nice job maintaining your spacing here. Let's see. Okay. Oh, what? But you were just facing the wrong way? Huh. I wonder why you turned around here. Because, like, you definitely got a shield grab here if you don't turn around. Okay. That's a good recovery. Okay. Hell yeah. I love freebies. Oh, great, Nair. Oh, uh, I fucked that up. It's a great shot shield. Okay. Combo tree thing. Yeah, I think up tilting at this percent is just kind of awkward. It's really not the play. I'm surprised you even got this hitbox of up tilt where it looks like it could combo, but his percent is really low. This is just not really whenever you when you would up tilt. You would probably re grab here. I usually yeah. don't up tilt Falco until like 37 or so. I try not to up tilt yeah. him until then. So like right here right there I would have either down thrown him or up thrown him. And then you up throw him, like he didn't dare, he DIs like that way, then I just re grab and I can do forward throw or you or I can up throw again. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was reasonable. Oops. Oh yeah, so you saw again your dash your dash back's a little short. So that's just the second time. Good near again. He does have a lot of trouble trying to dash guard side B. Yeah. I mean, he's like he's like side being a little bit high, which is like obnoxious to deal with. I mean, this is definitely a spot where like you want to try to like react a little bit more. Dash yeah, it's just hard. Uh, I feel like I dash tag with the red flag. Oh. Yeah, uh, I don't think this dash tag is unreasonable. Uh, maybe you misspaced it slightly? No, probably not. I think this dash tag is fair. It like catches him if he tries to dash back. You might have been able to do the dash tag a little bit shorter. Oh, well, if you were trying... I think you could have done the dash tack a little bit shorter. So, like, like if you saw your dash tack here instead, then you can get your dash tack to cover here. Because right now, dash tack is hitting over here. It's not really hitting up here. Yeah. That's how that misses. So you might have been able to cover, like, a dash back if you did a slightly shorter dash tack that covers, like, right here and also covers him jumping. Okay. I think the dash tack was good. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, down there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I need to think about this all city down there with more. Yeah, so you need to recognize where you have the combos. So this sphere is fine, but you should be dead already after that dash attack. After that dash attack, you have a million things. For versus, okay, so versus both spaces is Marth. You basically have three ways that you're going to kill, right? You have down air. Well, you have four ways, and one of them is bad. Uh, you have down air offstage. You have up B offstage. And uh, you have uh, forward smash tickle. Those are your three good ways. And then your bad way is like you nair them at a million percent. Yeah. And even that's like not the worst thing in the world, right? It's like sort of still big. But it's just like, so whenever you do your combos, you want to think about like uh, how you're going to link into one of those finishers. So like dash attack down air is, or dash attack up B or dash attack tipper are all like viable outcomes and so you see something like this it's like you just gotta down air him because especially like falco's at 130 now he lives any longer than this it's gonna be a pain in the ass like you're already in like i have to mutual air him range and so like anything you can do to like try to finish the combo before say 110 percent is going to be with one of those good moves is going to be really important but you do really have the entire world at your oyster here. Uh, I this yeah. is like you can like up be him, you can down air him. You might have even air was better. Yeah, or neutral B. Um, but definitely this is just a down air or up B moment. Um, I think that this probably you probably felt like uh you probably felt like you had less time than you actually did whenever you did this combat. Yeah, I, I think so. I think that's why the core of why I'm, I'm not going like looking for the stairs, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not recognizing how much time I actually have. Yeah, when you hit someone with with dash attack like that, it's like it's like basically a stop. Yeah. You have so much time, so I would recommend that you whenever you're exploring your combo trees, definitely like see how long the hit stun lasts. Like set the Falco computer to like uh, whatever fucking di, and then like, uh, whenever you like, uh, try to do your combo so that your move hits them like as late as possible in their hit stun, okay. and then see how long it lasts. You'll be surprised at how long up air and dash attack hit stun lasts, because uh, and especially with up air, it matters a lot because you know if you hit them too early in their hit stun with up air then it's really easy for them to just go up and up and up until you can't really do anything except double jump neutral air them. But you, So you want to like try to like combo them closer to the ground so that you're actionable faster. Right, like you use the hit stun so you can follow up it. Yeah, so definitely that would be a homework piece, would be see how long your hit stun lasts, try to hit them towards the end of hit stun if possible. Mm-hmm. Now. Yeah. Again, obviously, like I said, edge guarding is still one of the big issues. Right. Okay, that's a good nair you got there. Okay, let's see this. Why don't we get hit by this? Dash away. I should be ready at the power should be like dash back grab or something. Yeah, uh, so let's see. After you get this power shield, yeah, usually, like, if you're reading the power shield, then you, like, wave dash into him and grab, right? But I don't think, I don't think, like, dashing away was, like, a bad thing to do here, considering you're really close to him. Uh, and, like, you may not have, like, 100% known that you're gonna get this power shield. I don't think that was, like, an unreasonable idea at all. Yeah, I think the uncertainty of him imagining his power shield is why I'm having trouble with, like, doing the power shield and follow-ups. Yeah, and the fact that you, like, you gained some space here, I think is, like, totally reasonable. Uh, you got to, like, a pretty comfortable spacing. Uh, but... 
Sorry, give me one second. Where are you going? Keep my hair cut. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so then you get laser, and then you like tilt turn here or something. Like, because like this laser aerial should not have worked. This is yeah, like. Yeah, you got stuck in your turnaround. Yeah, you just did a slow turnaround. I don't know. Yeah, uh, this is another spot where you would do like a long dash back, right? So look at this. So you try to turn around, you jabs, right? If you do a long dash back and you do an extra dash dance, then you can grab them for spot dodging or turn around up tilt or jab. Alright, so this spot, so he lasers, you're in shield, oh, and you just drop your shield. Second off a up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looked like you just weren't ready. Um, I think it makes sense to, like, uh... I think it makes a lot of sense to hold shield in this spot and roll. I, I think you can't necessarily, like... Well, this would be a grab hold there, right? Maybe not. I mean, it hits you, like, on the way down, right? Like... See, it, he's, like, already on his way down whenever it hits you, so then if he fast falls you, so then if he fast falls it... But, like... This is something that, like, you could probably crouch cancel grab that near. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So for me, like, going for crouch cancel is not really super scary, but... It's really good against, uh, uh, in a lot of situations, just, like... Because Nair is a lot safer on shield than down is, basically. But it's just, like, you don't usually, like, go for, like, raw crouch cancel. You go for, like... You just do, like, the, the CC... The CC shield grab. And, right. and it beats them if they were to do like a... Okay, awkward combos. If they were to like jab on your shield pressure or something. I see that. I think those guys are supposed to work for like uh, stock. I guess. I guess whenever... I think what it is whenever I... I'm at that like 0.75 short hop laser range. And my reaction to the first laser you hit by isn't what I want it to be. And then from there I kind of panic. Yeah, okay, so what's causing you to get stuck in shield and push in the corner really easily is the fact that you're over shielding. So yeah. in all of these situations, what kind of happens is you either get a power shield that you don't that you don't capitalize on, or you like are trying to power shield, or you panic and you shield. And then he just gets on top of you for free. So if we back up this situation and pretend that instead of uh Instead of shielding here, you you can like take laser and jab, uh -huh. or you can take laser and up tilt, and both of those options destroy Falco for doing approaching laser. You have to. Okay. So the thing that beats approaching laser really hard is putting a hitbox out. So if you were to do jab or up tilt, maybe even forward smash, then you would blow him up for doing it. But because you're in shield, because you're feeling like power shields or you're just defaulting to shield at this spacing, then it lets him get in for free. Right, okay. So it's going to be really important for... You should try to work in more, like, literally just, like, jackass gameplay, and, like, don't worry someone, Don't worry too much about hitting the power shield. Like, do take laser up tilt. It's actually really good. Yeah, and so, like, that's why, yeah, that, that totally makes sense for, like, why you get owned by, like, oh, like, approaching lasers. Because you can't do anything about it because you're in shield already. Right, right, right. The other thing you can do, you can try to do if you're in shield at uh, a little bit further spacing is, like, you could just uh, nair out of shield in place and then hold shield again. That's pretty difficult to punish. Yeah, and then you caught out of the air. So yeah. here you're trying to reestablish your spacing. I think that was a good situation. Look at that. Good example. 
So here I feel like Martha's favorite, and then you run away and just let him get let him get lasered. Right now, I think a problem with like your shielding and your running away habits is that you're playing kind of like you're scared of Falco. Basically, yeah. yeah well, you're a lot more scared of Falco than he's scared of you. And that's, like, kind of the opposite of how it should be. Like, this matchup is kind of like, uh, it should be, the way it's supposed to play out is kind of like, Falco's like, I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning, fuck! I'm yeah. dead. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, like, Falco is kind of, like, scared the whole time. And if you, you, you watch, like, you know, any Falco versus Kadorn, or, like, you know, if you watch Mango versus Calvar from, like, uh, this past weekend at, uh, Gommel, right? It's just like, Falco's like, I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning, and then Marth just does some dumb shit and then knocks Falco down or, like, hits him in the air, and then it's just like, oh, I'm dead. And so the whole time, Falco's just, like, trying to, like, play around, like, a lot of, like, big, swingy options, and then, uh, in order to not die. So in this situation, and generally, like, and both these characters are, like, not that great at getting out of the corner. Now, if Falco can let dash, but, like, Laser has a long startup, he's got a high jump spot, and then, like, Mars got a sword, and, like, most importantly for Falco, the reason why he kind of sucks in the corner is because, like, usually with Falco, like, if you get hit in the corner and you go off stage, like, you're, you're just dead. You can't make it back. So in this situation, like, this spot is extremely favorable for Marth. Like, right now, Falco is probably like, oh my god, I fucked up. I'm going to get Gimped. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, if you look at this situation, and it's like any other Falco versus Mars, it's like, oh, Falco, you fucked up. Like, you get nared or grabbed and thrown off stage right now, you might just die at zero. So right okay. here, this is the part where, like, you should be looking to, like, act aggressively or, like, cover a panic option from Falco. But, like, instead, yeah, you just fucking run away because you're, like, more scared of him. You're like, ah, oh, no! <laughs> well, I guess it's, just like, if he dares at me, right? Well, you don't... Well, how far does Falco's dare go? Pretty fucking far, honestly. Not that far. It doesn't... Uh, Falco can't... Probably, short hop there probably goes to where your foot is right now. No, nah, it goes further than that, promise. Short hop there? Crazy far. No, bet, yeah, dude. Goes really far. <laughs> dude, do you know how long I've played Mark <laughs> No, no <laughs> shot, dude. This is absolutely within their range, 110%. You run that all the way over here? <laughs> yeah, because if I didn't, I would still be in here. No, 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 no. Trust me, you need to be the aggressor here. Because I tried to be aggressor one time, right when he was a corner, I got there. No, because you ran away, you like ran away first, and then you like, and then you went in. It was like, that situation was different. Let me okay. find it. It's in the first stock. Oh, okay. I think. Well, we'll just watch it back. Oh, yeah, right here. This the situation is different. You know why? Because you... Okay, so you were the aggressor here, and then you missed. And then, so then it's his turn to try to get punished. But you actually got away unpunished because he fucking full hop double jumped. So it took him so long that you got the shield. And... So right here, you're no longer the ag the aggressor. Why is that? Because you're in frame disadvantage because you just shielded a move. So Falco has initiative here. Even though he's in a in the corner, yes, it's not the same gotcha. situation. You see how you're in shield stun. Right. So you're defending here. If you gotcha. compare that to this situation, uh. If you compare that to this situation, it's not at all the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here, we're already actionable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So right here, Falco should be scared of you. And you should be ready to punish him for being scared. I see, like, even if he did dare have me right there, I'd like a fair, it would be him out, so... Yeah, you could just nair him. You've been doing great nares. Nair, yeah, yeah. You could fair him. You could, like, it, you could dash dance crap. You could, like, just jab him. You could do so much to ruin his day. And he also needs to be scared of you just, like, coming in to get him. Okay. But you just, like, gave up the whole stage. And, like, 
Uh, I think, and like, this is the, and something also really important to realize, and this goes for every character. If you're going to play an offensive mix-up, this is the best place for you to do it from. Okay. Why is that? The reason is because even if you get reversaled, uh, okay, number one, even if you get uh, reversaled by, say, he somehow gets inside of you, or, like, he shield grabs you, what's he going to do? Back throw you? Like, Falco can't really kill you off a of back throw. Like, the best thing he can do is, like, hit you, like, off st- throw you backwards off stage. And that kind of sucks. Uh, number two, even if your offensive mix fails and he defends from you, which way is he probably going to hit you? He's going to hit you this way towards center. Yeah, yeah. So this is a good time for you to do an offensive mix. And then the third thing is, and then the third thing is because you have the greatest possible reward from here. Basically, you want to avoid having a situation which you run into a lot this game where. You're like, you're kind of like, oh, I'm trying to power shield and I'm trying to like hold my space. And then like, you just get like pushed continuously backwards because you don't really attack him that much, except with random dash attack. You don't attack him that much or present like a forward threat. And then like, you just get pushed back and back and back and back until you're in the corner. And then at that point, you're like, well, fuck. I'm in the corner now. I guess I have to do something. And then you attack him. And then he's just like, LOL. And then he hits you. Yeah. And then that's I why it's like, oh, I just get like shoved, in the, shoved into the corner. And then he like laser nares me. And it's like, well, yeah, at that point, you don't have any choice except to get laser neared. Yeah, definitely. I think, um, I think my issue is like, I don't know how to like be forwardly offensive against Falco except for dash attack. Is this just like, do I like try like power shield and approach or? Uh, okay, so you have three options, right? You have dash attack, uh, you have, like, just nearing at him, which you've done a few times. So uh, I thought nearing towards him was bad. No, you can't. You can nair towards him. You just want to drift back so that you'll be safe on shield. Okay. And you've done a few of them. So just do, like, a nair, like, jump. Do, like, jump towards nair and then drift back. And then it'll be safe uh-huh. on shield. He can't shine out of shield or shield grab me for it. And the third way that you can be aggressive other than uh is like you can do like short hop. You you short hop at him and then uh and then delayed fair, you just short hop at him. And then if he and Falco's slow, so like if he tries to dash back, then you late fair him. Uh if he shoots you out of the air, then you mash take laser fair. And then if he, uh, and then if he like shields it, then you just do a late fair on his shield, and then you get to do a pressure mix up, right? You can dash back, or you can grab, or you can up tilt. Okay. So those are the three ways that you can approach him. But definitely, like, so you really want to like engage in an offensive mix up like this is if you're going to engage in an offensive mix up it's way better to do it here or when you're both like closer to the middle than like when you're forced to at the end where now you have to like close your eyes and take a bad gamble like the gamble's much more reasonable here whenever you're the da- any damage that can be done to you will be much more mitigated So, like, you know, this is what happens, and then, like, you run away to the corner, and then, you know, you, then he just murders you. But it, really, you should be aggressive there. Yeah, look out. See? This is perfect. This, this is a great example, right? So you just kind of do stuff at him, and then uh, you get a... Tr- and then, like, this is a great time to do it. And then you get a trade. You get hit. You probably fuck it up a little bit. Maybe you should have up tilt after an error. You should have jammed. And it's just like, what happened? Well, really nothing happened. And then he tried, he like neared you out of the corner. He neared you away. And then he tried to come with the laser. And then you just hit him in the face with neutral air. It's like nothing bad happened to you here. In fact, you even got an opening out of it. That's the perfect time to do offensive option. And then you just drop the tech chase. But I'm not worried about that shit. Obviously, you know that you have to hit your tech chases.
Okay, that's pretty good. Nice. Oh, that was such a good death I'm gonna watch it again. Yeah, look how perfect this dash dance was. Holy shit. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna just keep watching it. This is beautiful. This is the long dash back, right? And then you did the double dash dance, and then you punished the jab. This also punishes spot dodge and turn around up tilt, right? This is a great dash dance. This is the dash dance that you want to do so much against Falco. Right, this is the dash dance to punish the thing after the thing. Yeah, this is like the dash dance. Like, I've literally seen Zayn do the sequence 100,000 million times. Gotcha. Yeah, combo routes. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know how to cover side B. That move is so good. Side B is very good. <laughs> side B is very, very good. It's the best recovery for the game. I will stick with it. Yeah, it probably is. It's really good. No complaints for me. Okay, so once again, you know, you just do the offensive mix, and then it's like nothing bad happens to you. See, what's it going to do? Back throw you? Come on. <laughs> you already played this game so much better, despite being down early. Okay, reacting with shield is fine. Yeah, but like I realized I fucked up and got like safe face. Yeah, I mean against side beam, right? Like you can't really react with a button because it's so fast, but you can try to react with like dash back and then shield. Okay, so right here, let me see. I think you did not fast fall this controller. Yeah, I you didn't fast fall this. Up. Yeah, you, you tried to and then like you got fucked up by the shield stun. The shield stun changed the fall. Yeah, here it is. You didn't okay. drift back on this near. And it's the yeah, same thing. Yeah, I wasn't thing. practicing, like, the timing for, like... Because the timing for the, 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 the fastball on his, like, you, you fastball a little bit after the first hit there. To a fastball on his, and I was just fucking it up. Yeah. It's different. It's, just, it's definitely different it, with stun. The, hitting someone not in shield and hitting their shield the same lag timing, right? Yes, that's correct. Okay. So you can just practice nearing the shields, but like another thing that you may not have thought of that changes it, uh, that changes your fastball timing is like uh, whether the first hit connects with their shield or not. Yes. Right, and that just makes makes sense. So you need to like, but you need to be familiar with like the time the fastball if you'd with the first hit as compared to if you connect with it because if you connect with it obviously like you know you're it's going to add shield stun or uh shield lag whatever so that so the here drift back with this nair and then he can't shield grab you like that this is the approaching nair that i was talking about that you can do against falco this is this nair is op against falco uh, you you drift back and land right here he can't shield grab you I think the reason why I didn't drift back is because I was like expecting to get a fastball and then I'm like, oh shit. Uh huh. Yeah, that makes sense. Nice. But it does seem like, I know you, before you said you weren't really getting the nares, but it seems like you're doing a lot of good nares here. So it seems like you're okay. getting the hang of them. After our first video started, I did a lot more. Yeah. Nice. I making a lot more sense to me. Perfect. Like just after you told me like the range to do a match a lot, like the point seven five range, I like, yeah. a lot. Oh, that sucks. Uh huh. Nice. Oh, okay. He got a hit good slide off. <laughs> ah, okay, what's happening here? Now, I think you've been playing really well this game, which is funny. I think you played way better this game than you did on the FD game, where you just like ran a lot and tried to shield a lot. Even though you were down three slots to one, you kind of bullshit him. Just like, just being more aggressive got you like a lot more openings. And if you just hit your tech chases and combos correctly, then like you would have already won this game. Like this is this game you played really well actually. You just like you know you like 
miss space and there on a shield, right? And you or you like missed a fast fall and then he got underneath you, you know? But like uh like yeah. just generally conceptually you've played really well this game. Yeah, I feel like my issue is this game you know, which is like more execution based stuff and not like plan stuff, like idea stuff. Yeah, and like executing against Falco is hard because I mean a lot of times you're getting shot and thrown off your rhythm. So, you know, just like just like being able to play quickly and uh, execute against Falco is more difficult compared to like playing against other characters, right? But at the same time, it's just like he is more fragile, and so it's definitely one of those things where it's like you know, uh, you if you are executing against Falco at least a little bit and like in your tech chases, then like that's like a big difference maker. Oh yeah, so actually one tech chase situation I want to talk about because I feel like it's supposed to piss me up a lot. So I might run at a Falco that I knocked down, right? So yeah. I run at him to where he gets knocked down at, and then I'll crouch. But then I'll like react to his tech behind me with an intermediate dash back, which like slows my momentum, right? So I'm doing like the, the full dash back speed, you know what I'm saying? Um So like cause if you run at least if I if I run, crouch and then immediately super fast dash back out of crouch i don't get the full speed of the dash back um yeah okay sure it, it's it's not like a crouch and then dash back it's like crouch dash back yeah yeah which is like so it, it, it bucks me up whenever i'm trying to like catch that tech with the tech behind right uh-huh now i don't know what to do to cover that tech behind in that situation uh you can dash tech <laughs> Um, maybe not. I think it's like, it's whenever you crouch before you, like, lose all your sliding momentum. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not very sure. Um, I still flap out. yeah, you can look into it. I don't actually know the answer to that. So that's, that's one of the main reasons why I draw tech chases. Uh huh. Are you confident in the crouch tech chase? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. I was curious. Like if I'm doing it from a complete standstill, yeah, I'm pretty confident. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um. Yeah, I guess like it's just kind of. Okay, so how are you setting up the crouch? I guess is my question. You're like dashing into it. Yeah. So say I like I knock. Say I, I knock him away with fair, and he gets knocked down, right? So I run mm, at him okay. and then crouch where he's at. And then yeah, I that makes sense. Or like I'm done sliding in the crouch and I try to dash back. Yeah, tech chasing with grab there can be uh kind of difficult just because of like Marth's like uh you know how far Marth has to run to actually get into get into uh or how far he has to dash to actually get into run so you can crouch. And, like, his moves can send him, like, variably far compared to other characters. So that tech chasing with grab in that spot can just be kind of, like, difficult. Um, yeah, like, setting up the tech chase isn't an issue. Like, getting into position to tech chase him is not the issue. I get into position. But if you if you try to dash back out of crouch before you're done sliding during the crouch, you get, like, a really slow, like, dash back. Yeah, I think, you know, I would even go as far as to say it's like, I usually don't see Marth set up a crouch tech chase in that situation. Like, I will see them do a crouch tech chase uh, if off of a throw. But, like, if it's off of, a, like, an aerial, then a lot of times, then they'll do other stuff. Like, you know, you might, like, fair near him into the corner, and Kadorn has this thing where he, like, where he where he just, like, stands at a certain spot, and if they tech roll behind him, then he just does turn around and up tilt. He just does turn around and up tilt, right? And then if they, uh-huh. if they are in the corner, they DI wrong, then he just turn around up tilt, so they go off stage, and he down airs them, they die. Okay. And you did mention dash attack, which might actually just work. Yeah. Crash dash, dash attack back. probably works as well, uh, based on which it just, just, it just hits a little bit further, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, I think the situation about Maya came up with that one tech chase that dropped and said, yeah, you just need to do tech chases. Yeah. That might be that situation. 
Uh-huh. I think if I would have gotten the dash back I was trying to do right there, I would have gotten that slow dash back. Uh-huh. That makes sense. Oh. Nice. Oh, God. This is where I start panicking. That's, I was panicking like crazy right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and you can see, like, this is right basically here. how it's supposed to be in this matchup when either person is cornered. It's just like, shit feels awful. Hey! Okay, but this is, actually, this is a really good example of what, of what I was talking about. If you stand right here, Falco, like, look, look what he does there from he, like, can't hit you, dude. Like, if he down airs, down air is even shorter. Yeah. Down air ends here. He, like, can't even hit you. <laughs> yeah, see, like, I didn't even realize it wasn't, like, the reason to panic after being able to laser. And so, like, yeah, he can't even get you. Like, much less true combo you. And so, like, you know, going back to, like, the FD game, where, like, do you really think down air hits you over there? It's like, Falco just can't short off air going you like that. So there's actually, like, not a lot to be scared of, but this is kind of just, like, uh, being familiar with, with the with the character that you're fighting was just, like, I don't know, obviously it makes a huge difference to be, like, if you could just be, like, nah, you can't get me from here, and then just, like, and then you don't have to go anywhere, you're just, like, nah, you can't get me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, also sometimes something I like to do a lot, uh, as Fox, at least, if you're up on, like, right on the edge, I like to just stand there and take the laser from Falco so I get knocked to the ledge. Yeah. But that's not as good as, as, as Mark. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's not as good because you don't have a ledge dash, but it's, it can be, like, preferable to, like, being in the corner, like, sometimes, where it's just like, ah, well, I don't really feel like being in the corner and I might get into back here at all. So sometimes I'll, like, shield or light shield in the corner and just get lasered, lasered onto the ledge or, like, let them aerial me onto the ledge. And try to play from there. Okay, yeah. You can it's still go still, for it. I guess even as more like being on the ledge is better sometimes than being cornered in a, in a bad way. Yeah, it's it's like a weird thing. Being on the ledge definitely isn't good, uh, but neither is being on the corner. And I don't know, there's some like weird math behind it, just like depending on like, you know, if you get pushed onto the ledge and then like a lot of people will just fuck off. Or, like, you know, if they're in lag, then you might be able to get get out more quickly, or, like, just kind of depending on the spacing. But, like, I don't yeah, know. Sometimes, it, like, if, if they try to aerial at you, you probably, like, ledge hop in there or something. Yeah. So, it's, like, literally an option that I've done sometimes, and it's felt like, you know, it's something, it's definitely, like, something that I wouldn't, like, discard outright. But... Anyway, the point is, like, you are actually totally safe here. Uh, I was looking at where Falco was early from. I was just like, mm, pretty sure he can't hit you. And sure enough, like, he couldn't. And so, like, it feels like... So I think, like, that wraps up these games. But, like, I, I would say, like, uh, you're not very... It feels like you're not that familiar with Falco entirely. Like, in terms of, like, you know, you think that he can do stuff to you that he really can't. Like, there was a situation, and so, like, this presents itself like this, where it's just like, oh my god, Falco's gonna hit me from all the way over here. It's like, ah, he can't really. The only way he can is if you were to do an approaching laser first. And that's probably where you're getting mixed up. It's like, if he approaching lasers you, that, like, kind of slows you down, and then it feels like he goes further, but really his short hop aerial only goes so far. So he just aerials into you like this, like, you could just literally sit here. If you sat here and you just scrubbed out and you just mashed shield grab like an idiot, he would just whiff entirely and you'd throw him off the stage and he would die. Right, okay. Uh, so you should be, you need to be more familiar with like where, what Falco can actually do. So that's in terms of like, you know, how far can he actually down air me from? Uh, and, like, you know, how early does he need to do a down air in order to actually beat my neutral air, right? This is spamming neutral air you found is very effective. Um, and, like, you know, he, how do I beat approaching laser with a hitbox? Like, you know, uh, can I just really just, like, laser? If he's going to do approaching laser, can I just really just laser up tilt? Stuff like that and figure out what he can't do. And figure out what Falco actually does. That's one. And then two, I would say is, like, uh... The combo stuff, right? Know how much hit stun your moves do. 
uh, and like try to combo Falco uh, in such a way to see. It was like once you start playing with it, uh, I think you'll have enough of a grasp of it to be like, okay, yeah, I have a lot more time than I thought I did. And then just like get your combos from there. I don't think I need to tell you much more than that, other than just like let the let the hit stun age longer. Yeah, for sure. And I think one thing I worry about is um, with the take laser up to four jab, mm -hmm. what does that is that good at certain spacing? Where yeah. I wouldn't just dash back instead. Uh, it basically functions. Uh, it's basically good at the same spacings. Okay. Which is like what's nice about it is that like you basically get to play this mix up. And the mix-ups are at, like, predictable times, too, right? It's not like, okay, so if you pretend you're playing, like, Marth Fox, then it's just like, oh, anything could happen at any times. Yeah. But whenever you play against Falco, it's like, when do things happen? Things happen after laser, right? He's either going to do laser laser, or he's going to do laser dash, or he's going to do laser aerial. And if you just think about, like, oh, what's he going to do after this laser? And then you just, like... You could even mentally, and like obviously there's more to it, but like you could you can really scum some wins off Falco players if you just like mentally flip a coin between approaching laser and approaching aerial, and then just be like, I'm gonna laser up tilt this time, <laughs> and then they just yeah, like yeah. fuck up and eat an up tilt and then you kill them. Yeah, yeah. So it basically, but yeah, it basically works at the same spacing as laser dashback works, uh, where doing take laser and then do a hitbox like up tilt uh, beats them doing laser into approaching laser and uh, doing take laser dash back beats them doing laser into aerial. Okay. Gotcha. So is, I wonder if like I guess also depends on I guess the laser up tilt might be good if like your corners and try to do like an approach or something, you can't dash back, right? Yeah, uh, another thing I would suggest there is if they're just going to do laser laser or laser aerial, is roll. Okay. I roll out of the corner a lot against Falco. You just have to find the really obnoxious timings. Uh, but yeah, if you think, like, a lot, most of the time I see in the corner, like, don't try to fight your way out too much. Just, like, try to figure out the timing where they're going to aerial into you and roll. Do a really annoying yeah, roll. They just roll during some kind of commitment. Yeah, you just if you roll like as they're trying to like if you had rolled as uh he was trying to do this snare here, like let's say he's a little closer and the snare can actually hit you. If you rolled right here, he just can't get you. Yeah. Yeah, I mean whatever. You know, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, you could you you could just roll. Uh, so yeah, uh, challenge Falco's challenge. If you notice he's you're getting hit by approaching laser a lot, then challenge him with hitboxes uh, to make him stop. Uh, don't be scared of Falco so much when he's in the corner. Like yeah, he has some threat ranges he can play against. But like if you're both, if nobody's in frame advantage, you're both like in neutral except he's like more cornered. Then you can play more assertively. And then, uh, just like, and then, like, you know, practice your combos. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Dora would be the best part to watch, right? Like, he does more things that are more, like, immediately, like, replicable than Zane does. Yeah, it's easy to steal stuff from Kadoran. Uh, I think you can take things from both. Like, Kadoran has, like, a, like, a very effective, uh, albeit, like, cheesy play style. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, he... Like, he kind of plays, I, I, like, I he kind of plays, like, Falco's a bad character. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there's yeah, definitely things you can steal from, like, but, like, you can definitely take, like, you know, like, Zane has really, really good spacing. Yeah. And so, like, if you just, which, like, you can ignore, like, the flash, right? And, like, the execution, but, like, Zane just has, like, really good spacing in all the matchups. So, like, you know, if... I would definitely say, like, you can look at both both of them. I mean, Kadoran's like, the easier person to just rip shit straight from him. Like, oh, this kills him. Like, oh, this is really simple and effective. Like, Kadoran's definitely the easier person to rip shit from. But, like, 
definitely like don't ignore like taking stuff from Zane. So I definitely want to watch Zane for like dash dance spacing and stuff. Yeah, his, his spacing is really, really good. He does some really good stuff that's just like really hard to deal with. Sick. Yeah. yeah. Alright, sweet. Uh keep it up and we'll schedule another follow up. Oh, you wanna do that two weeks or you wanna wait a little longer? Two weeks is good. Okay. Cool. Alright. Appreciate it. Yep, no problem. Peace.